Welcome dear friends to my video lecture on the philosophy of Christian education. Why this video? In the textbooks, we come across the philosophy of Vedas, the philosophy of Buddhism, the philosophy of Islam, the philosophy of Jainism, the philosophy of Zoroastrianism, etc. etc. People are wondering what would be the core of Christian education. The answer is my video. I am sure you will enjoy this video. I am Dr. I. J. Sudas, a former associate professor and a research supervisor from St. Saviour's College of Education, Palayam Kote. At present, I am in various places giving educational discourses to many students, to the student community. Welcome to my video courses in Jesu EC, that is my YouTube channel name. You are most welcome to subscribe. You will be getting all sorts of videos, TET, NET, BEAT, MMAT courses. I am just uh, dedicating my channel for your benefit. Thank you for your presence at the moment. Let us straight away enter into the video lecture. Dear friends, what is the philosophy of Christianity in education? What is the purpose and scope of Christian education? Education as defined by American scholar and biblical thinker Noah Webster, Christian education is intended to enlighten the understanding, correct the temper, form the manners and habits of youth and fit them for usefulness in their future stations. Apostle Paul in his treatise on the value and authenticity of scripture he explains that all scripture is inspired by God and it is useful for teaching, for correction, for reproof, for training in righteousness so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. The scripture and definition reveal the very heart of education and form the foundation for the philosophy of education. What are the major tenets of Christian philosophy in education? The development of a biblical world view is the goal of Christian education. The development of a biblical world view. And uh, St. Paul in his uh, epistle Romans talks about this. Do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what the will of God is that which is good and perfect and acceptable. So divine qualities he talks about and that is the major tenet of Christian philosophy of education to make human beings divine beings in such a manner that they exhibit divine qualities like love, mercy, empathy, affection, forgiveness towards their fellow men. The Bible is the primary source for all learning according to Christian philosophy of education. It provides through principles of truth the foundation from which the learner can reason to every subject and area of life. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That is what Christian philosophy holds. So all the subjects are always linked with some divine values. The Bible does not provide the necessary facts required to gain knowledge of most subjects. However, knowledge of biblical principles is absolutely essential to develop understanding and wisdom. <clears throat> the high orders of learning and application in any given subject. <clears throat> Another tenet of Christian philosophy of education is, education works from the internal to the external. First, the heart of man must be regenerated, then his mind must be renewed and finally he will walk in a manner worthy of his calling. So the Christian character development, that is the primary aspect in the education process. Lasting external change and growth comes only by way of internal character growth. That is what Christian philosophy holds. Thirdly, academic excellence is an expression of worship of Almighty God. As 
the god's strengths and weaknesses are identified the education process calls him calls the man up to excellence in every area of life so that he may effectively exert christian influence in his life spheres christian education requires a christian philosophy curriculum and methodology education is comprised of three basic components philosophy curriculum and methodology likewise each and every subject that is studied has a unique philosophy presuppose presuppositional truths curriculum content and methodology application it is the relationship of these three components that provide both the means and the ends for mastering a given subject curriculum what is the curriculum according to christian philosophy of education the goal of any curriculum should be to discover truth a christian curriculum searches all things for the knowledge and wisdom of god great are the works of the lord they are studied by all who delight in them psalmist sings like this great are the works of the lord they are studied by all who delight in them a curriculum should be lively and appropriate to the needs of the learner as well as to the needs of the community as a whole a curriculum must be academically sound and based upon truth not on prejudice or biased points of view the goal of every curriculum is to attain mastery of the subject within the context of a biblical world view what is the methodology teaching is a relationship first and foremost please mark these words teaching is a relationship first and foremost that is interaction and seeing the students in a respectable manner the teacher pupil relationship is based in christian law and is crowned with the mutual respect but the goal of our instruction is love from a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith saint paul talks about in his epistle to first timothy so the goal of our instruction is a love from a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith finally the methods develop these values in education what should be the curriculum the teacher is seen as a living curriculum before her students a pupil is not about his teacher but everyone after he has been fully trained will be like his teacher discipline and order play major roles in the efficiency and effectiveness of the teaching learning cycle teachers must stay current with the teaching learning theories while maintaining a biblical filter through which to qualify them all truth is god's truth all truth is god's truth so teachers must stay current with the teaching learning theories while maintaining a biblical filter through which to qualify them the christian idea of the child recognizes the inherent value of each individual as well as his uniqueness teachers recognize this personality and learning style differences and adapt the teaching methods so that every student has the opportunity to grow to his full potential the christian idea of the child recognizes the inherent value of each individual as well as his uniqueness teachers recognize this personality and learning style differences and adapt their teaching methods so that every student has the opportunity to grow to his full potential the teacher the parents and the students enter a covenant relationship as the bible speaks of covenant relationship between god and human beings while at the same time the individuality of each is respected and preserved the learning process is reflecting promoting sound logical reasoning and intuitive thinking on the part of the learner from a biblical christian perspective that is seen in the biblical pages isaiah chapter 1 18 verse like that teachers and students produce ideas and works that express creativity value and meaning contribute to the general good and are pleasing to god 
rather than simply consume materials or absorb the ideas of others so essentially teachers have to make the student creative to be on their own to stand on their own feet with the wisdom what are the educational objectives that address the whole child according to the new testament bible first one spiritually the child is provided instruction opportunity and modeling in loving god in loving his neighbor in developing a prayer life in rightly dividing or uh, sharing the word of god in reasoning from the principles of uh, god's word to all of life walking in purity of thought and actions in identifying with a local church or local worship place etc academically the child is provided instruction opportunity and modeling so as to be equipped with a well rounded liberal arts education attain excellence in scholarship in the various subject areas to think critically to study effectively to be fit for usefulness in his future life whether at college or in a vocation in what situation to be able to articulate thoughts and persuade others for good for good behavior to understand world cultures to exhibit technological savvy socially the each child is uh, provided instruction opportunity and modeling so as to promote the fruit of the spirit modesty diplomacy in dealing with others civility and good manners a giving heart respectfulness compassion and helpfulness toward others these are all major tenets of christian education honoring of father and mother and others in authority the biblical standard of heterosexuality the biblical injection against homosexuality the biblical view that marriage is between one man and one woman and is sacred global awareness in view of the world sensitivity to cultural and ethnic diversity active support of the school as an alumnus patriotism and good citizenship these are all major tenets of christian philosophy of education physically each child is provided instruction opportunities and modeling so as to maintain a healthy and fit body to treat his body as the temple of the holy spirit to be well groomed and modest in presentation to be disciplined in healthy life habits to remain sexually pure according to biblical standards in summary christian education has the unique capacity to assist the parents in their god given mandate to raise their children up in the nurture and admonition of the lord <clears throat> this education christian education takes place in the context of a biblical philosophy and a christ centered curriculum by loving and the mature christian teachers who minister to the whole child using christ honoring and effective methods thank you very much dear friends fully human fully alive persons or the most desired persons with god god bless you abundantly